Ah, there we go. Welcome everybody. And Eric, welcome to you. It's great to have you here with us. What's new with Yamaha? It's also great for me to see you again and to share with you this moment because when we meet together, usually it's because we have something to present. I would like to speak today about uh, mobility, you know, urban commuting, new evolution in the way we live in the city, because we know that the constraints are increasing a lot. In the, in the past years, we have seen that we must move on sustainability, efficiency, environmental respect, and obviously Yamaha wants to contribute. We must support somewhere a better life for our citizen, the citizen of the cities. So we have been working in that direction in respect with the main quality of the two-wheelers, which is freedom, <laughs> freedom. No. How can I guess when, that? When you ride a two-wheelers, you are free. So what we wanted to mix the best of technology, the best of sustainability, with the best of the two-wheeler, the freedom. And we have been working around this concept, how to keep the freedom for our users in respect with a better society. So what does this Yamaha switch on mean? Switch on means that now we are turning on the electric, mm. starting a new challenge and a new way of living the city, creating emotions, moving free and sharing fun. In the coming 12 months, we will reveal many new models. During the past two years, we have been revealing different concepts and especially one, the E01, was presented in Tokyo Motor Show two years ago and this one will become true now. And it's here, isn't it? Is this not it right here? This concept is super interesting because this is the first one on the equivalent on the 125 scooter. However, for the moment, it will not be sold. We will select one big capital in Europe, Paris, Milano, Roma, this, this uh, level of city, and we want to make the full experience, which means that this vehicle will be available as a sharing fleet. You know, you can use it whenever you want. And we will have also some partnership with uh, governmental agencies or local administrations just to get mileage experience. And after two to three years max, all the learning will be there. And we will be sure that we will be able to launch the final models for the consumers within a reasonable delay. If we had to take a snapshot of this moment of mobility for Yamaha, what does it look like to you? The picture is relatively wide and we try to innovate, to conceptualize different solutions in respect with social reality and sustainability. So you need technology concept. You need to hear the needs of the customers and you have to think to check what is the best technology and to combine the both. So actually we are experimenting different size, different format, different approach of mobility and usage of two wheelers. And it's quite enthusiastic, honestly. It's a fantastic period. Well, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Is it because Yamaha is investing in electric due to this market demand necessarily? Fortunately not. Because Yamaha has always been considering the electricity as a solution, but already starting more than 30 years ago. Really? Yamaha did electric golf cars. Yamaha did electric uh, outboard engines. Yamaha did the first concept, the Frog. But the Frog was a clear concept of a scooter electric in 1991. And then two years later, we have been introducing the first pass, which were the first electric bicycle. We were pioneer. So Yamaha has always been looking for future, trying to open new doors, new fields. Fortunately, we have all this background. We have now transcript in this new lineup of concept and vehicle. Well, you're making accessibility and convenience for everybody now, aren't you? Obviously, obviously, because the mobility is a need for everybody. You can be 80 years old, 12 years old, you need it, you need it. So 80% of the population in Europe is living in the cities. So 80% of the population has this need, at least, to be free, to get this kind of individual mobility. And as Yamaha, we develop product for people. We do not pr develop product for technology, not only. It must be the technology serving the people. This is why we are so excited by this new approach. 
because we have really the feeling that we can provide to the people a new value. Eric, thank you. It's so great to hear about the new journey that Yamaha is starting. And we're going to see you again later. But right now, we're going to go on to the next chapter. Well, as we're discovering, Yamaha is electric. And I'm really pleased now to be joined by Paolo. Welcome. Ciao, Amy. Yes, I'm very happy to be again here with you. And what you said is actually true. We are making this move into electric in order to really expand our proposal in the human mobility, very important segment. All right, well, you've got a scooter here, Paolo, that I know is bringing back a very important name. Yes, actually, NEOS has been a very important part of our, let's say, scooter history. We introduced it in 1997, and we had both the Yamaha NEOS and back in the time, the MBK version, which was called Ovetto. Of course, with combustion engine, back in the time, we evolved the scooter for 15 years, uh, up to the last four-stroke version. And we can say, yes, the NEOS and the Ovetto, they have really moved generations of customers. And Paolo, am I right in saying that the 50cc scooter market has changed a lot in recent years? Yes, Amy. This segment has been under a strong pressure in the past 10 years due to regulation changes and a wider offer of entry one to five scooters. However, more recently, this segment is supported by the growing demand for electric scooters is showing, again, interesting trends, with the electric scooters market almost doubling in the past two years. The urban customer mindset is more and more looking for electric solution. The offer is growing, as we said, and the evolution of traffic and infrastructures in many big cities around Europe are all factors contributing to accelerate the trend. Okay, so how does NEOS fit into that? The new NEOS is designed to contribute to those customer needs. It is practical, functional, and it will represent also an excellent solution for commercial usage or sharing platforms. So the quality, performance and design of your products are not to be questioned. Can you give me three words to describe this new scooter? I would say smart, qualitative and accessible. Smart because thanks to the removable batteries, it will be easy to charge it everywhere, which is very important. Qualitative because we will bring in this segment the standard of a premium manufacturer, as we are, as Yamaha is. Accessible because it is designed to fit the needs of a very wide urban population. And the logo color, I can see it's now on all the scooters. Well, it's not by coincidence, of course. It's a combination of our Yamaha Racing blue color and green, which is the color representing clean energy. And it will be the DNA color of all our electric offer. We call it Aqua, and you will see it on more and more products in the coming years. Well, that's good news because it's really beautiful. And maybe you like it. How do you define the target rider of this scooter? Who are you seeing? We really see a wider audience for it. What will connect all of them is the need to move inside big crowded cities all around Europe. And of course, the fact that those customers, they want to do it in a sustainable way, but without giving up on the freedom of their personal mobility. But how long does everyone have to wait? The NEOS will be unveiled in a couple of weeks. And at that moment, all details will be explained, of course. Then it will start to be available in Europe within the spring. So we have not much to wait for it. Yeah, that's really soon. Looking forward to it. Well, Paolo, thank you so much for explaining everything to us today. It's a pleasure, Imi, and I hope to see you riding it very soon as well. <laughs> Me too. Imi, what a pleasure to be with you today. Clement, likewise. And what are you here to share with us? What can you tell us about today? I would start from quite far today, since Yamaha invented the power acid system for bicycles in 1993, almost 30 years ago. We were definitely a pioneer, as it happened to Yamaha many times in the mobility market. And since then, we have kept developing the technology of our drive units constantly, having manufactured so far approximately 7 million engines. In the last year, this number has increased exponentially. Actually, the COVID-19 storm even boosted the e-bike demand. To give you an idea, more than 5 million e-bikes have been sold in Europe last year. Really? Okay, so what are some of your predictions ah. for the future? Well, I'm just saying that within a few years, more than 50% of the bicycles sold in Europe are expected to be e-bikes. So what role is Yamaha planning to play in this very exciting space? Of course, our commitment remains to develop great systems for our OEM customers. However, we feel that it is the moment to integrate our technology and know-how in complete e-bikes which would combine our drive units and the well-known Yamaha riding ability. 
As already said, people needs are evolving, and we clearly believe that Yamaha customers are now looking for mobility solutions which are 100% from us. They also want to benefit from the expertise, the service skills from their Yamaha power two wheeler dealers. Finally, an e-bike has two wheels and an engine. Well, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> and here, you have the first e-bikes, which will be introduced soon. All right, Clement, let's get into it. Can you talk us through each of these three e-bikes? First, you have the Old Mountain. We have put all our off-road experience. We have specifically developed the frame. The bike has been developed for the most challenging terrains. It is equipped with some of the most premium components. Yeah, it looks tough, it looks good. And how about this one in the middle? This is the gravel. For the one who wants to have something looking really cool and wants to go for a longer ride, this is the perfect bike. And the last one down here? This one is the perfect tool to go in the city. It's the perfect urban bicycle. It's also perfect for, we can use it for instance. Clement, this all sounds really promising, but really how long will I have to wait to ride one? Don't worry, not too long. As Eric promised, everything we have been speaking about today will start to be visible in our showrooms within one year. But for the e-bikes, as for the Neos, it could be even quicker. Actually, it will start from the second half of this year and we will proceed step by step with the intention to cover most European countries. Since our strong dealer network will be a pillar of our distribution, we are currently preparing everything to be able to satisfy all the possible needs of our customers from the moment we enter in this market. So when can I buy one exactly? Uh, looking forward to that <laughs> moment. We are planning to unveil the full specifications of these new e-bikes around summer and we will also give Media the opportunity to test them. Well, thanks, Clement. Those of us who are evaluating getting a new e-bike will soon have some great options. Indeed. Thank you very much, Imi. And see you soon for a bicycle ride. That sounds good to me. Eric, good to have you back. Now, we've spoken to Clement, we've spoken to Paolo, and we've understood that you are definitely switching on at Yamaha. What else can you share with us? I've said at the beginning that uh, now we switch on and you must have a wide vision mm -hmm. considering all different concepts. So we touch scooters, big scooters, small scooters, e-bikes. And the last product, which makes sense to reveal with you, is the BO1. In all activities, there is always a cycle. And you have to reinvent what has been done in the past with new eyes, new technology, new concepts, listening to people, etc. And finally, the, the start of our uh, power two-wheelers has been just a combination of a bicycle frame with a small engine. That was moped. The start of the moped, especially after the war, where this vehicle, super light, nice, like a bicycle, but where you could ride 45 kilometers per hour. And with the e-bikes, we have been reinventing the bicycle somewhere with a small power, 25 kilometers per hour. And we have been considering, hey, why not to push more now? And this is what we call the S-Pedelec. S-Pedelec te technology means that you play exactly with the same component as any e-bikes, but you have more power, more speed, and you can get also a wider range of autonomy, distance. Yeah. And we wanted to combine this historical, fantastic model, best sellers we have got, with the new technology of e-bike and S-Pedelec. And this is the BO1. So if we have a look on it, you can see that you, you recognize the, the fat tires and the way you can feel this kind of sportiness and mm. strongness also always some sympathy about the design of the vehicle, and it's male and female. Well, what we see here is a beautiful concept, but what about its future? Its future will become true soon. It means that we will start the production of this vehicle within one year, beginning of 2023. And the way we will start the production of this vehicle is a nice story, because one year ago, we decided to transfer our Motori Minarelli factory to an Italian company, Fantic Motor. And we were in contact with Fantic Motor since many years because we were providing uh, motorcycle engines for their production. And I was always uh, inspired and I was really respecting their creativity. 
And then we have been working together, and this is what is nice, when you do a true partnership with two entities like mm -hmm. Yamaha and Fantic Motor, is that at the end, we all push in one direction, just to support the innovation and to be sure that we can propose to the market an in innovative product with all these kind of new technologies. Okay, Eric, we've seen quite a lot so far. Can you now sum up what we can expect from Yamaha in the field of electric mobility? I'm not so good to sum up because I like to share. You know, you cannot develop all this lineup without patience. And patience means this sincere and true motivation to listen after the customer's expectation, to work with your engineers, to develop the models, uh, to adjust the technology, and finally, after long work, you realize that you are ready to go. Mm. You can go. And this is why we say now we can switch on. Just because all these vehicles have been properly developed and they are ready to go now. So obviously everything we do is done to support the evolution of the society in a positive way. Because we have always tried to do our best product to satisfy the users to be sure that our customers enjoy to use our product. This is what is exciting, this is what we love, and this is what I hope you have appreciated, discovering all this new lineup. Eric, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you and to Clement and Paolo. We've really appreciated it. Watching Yamaha switch on and stay tuned for all the exciting news to come.